I'm shocked. <clears throat> First of all, um, I'm a fan of Zach Randolph. I like him a lot. Um, I'm shocked at the stupidity uh, of him finding himself in this situation. Uh, I won't go off about the weed just yet, uh, but this is an individual that has made well over $150 million in his career. I find it very, very difficult to believe that he was intending to sell. Now, according to the report that I read, just on the newswire, I think it was from TMZ or wherever else it was, it said specifically the reason why the words intent to sell were thrown into the equation as it pertained to the arrest is because of the amount of weed that was he was in possession of. So essentially, due to the amount, they say, okay, intent to sell. That doesn't mean he was intending to sell it. It might have meant he was intending to use it all. It might have it meant that he was intending to use a lot of it and there were others with him who, who he had it in his possession and they were going to use it as well. But in the end, it's inexcusable that he found himself in this position. Sometimes you got to monitor the company you keep. Sometimes you got to have people looking out for you to know better than allowing you to put yourself in that situation. But at the end of the day, he is a grown man. He knows better. And to, to consider the workmanlike individual that he has been, how good he has been for the teams that he has played for, considering the absence of athletic ability where he uses his girth and his skill to be as effective as he has been in his career, the hard worker that he is, to find himself in this situation because evidently he could not stay off the weed. I just... I'm disgusted with it, to be quite honest with you, and I'm ashamed that he found himself in this situation, and now he's got to deal with this blemish. It's on him.